How the Light Gets In is the Institute of Art and Ideas' unique festival, combining days full of talks and debates in philosophy, politics, arts and science, with evenings full of music and dance. Get your tickets for the world's largest music and philosophy festival at howthelightgetsin.org. The story I want to start with is um, about uh, a friend of mine, and I will call the friend Sam, although that wasn't his name. And Sam came to me one day. Sam was uh, an executive vice president, in other, in other words, a very senior, super important, extremely well-paid individual. He came to me one day and he said, Margaret, I think I'm going to leave my job. I said, wow, you know, you've been there a long time. You're in this very powerful, well-paid job. Why do you want to leave? Uh, do you have another job? No. Okay, so what's the problem? Well, he said, you know, I've known for about two years that one of my colleagues um, sexually harasses the young women in his department. And everybody knows. Everybody knows. You know, when we have executive outings, he'll bring one of his latest young women along with him. You know, the rest of us bring our spouses. He comes with one of these women. It's awkward. It's embarrassing. And I feel ashamed of us that we allow this to continue. And I just don't want to be associated with it anymore. So I've decided to leave. And I think at that point, he expected me to say, well done, Sam. You are a man of principle. You get out of this place as fast as you can. So I'm going to pause the story there. Because one ending of it could be, Sam leaves and he gets a job somewhere else and he lives happily ever after. But one of the things I was thinking about as I was having this conversation with Sam is what's going on here? What's really happening in Sam's head? What's he thinking? Well, one of the things that Sam was thinking was, um, I don't like this. It reflects badly on me. I don't want to be associated with it, so go away. That's Sam thinking about Sam. He's thinking, it's not my job to fix this, right? He's thinking, it's not my job to fix this. I'm not head of HR, right? Sexual harassment isn't on my job description. So it's not my job to fix it. He's thinking, well, maybe nobody else minds. And as it happens, Sam is Egyptian, so maybe he's thinking, maybe this is okay in England. What do I know? He's thinking, if I raise this topic, there's going to be an argument. Well, I don't like arguments. Nobody likes arguments. I'm conflict averse. Most people are conflict averse. So I don't want to have this argument. It's much better, easier to leave. So it's not my job. Maybe other people think it's okay. Right? I'm conflict of us. I've tried really hard, so let's say for two years, to ignore it. So I've stayed really busy. So that kind of kept it at bay, but somehow it won't leave me alone. And, um, and it's too difficult. It's just too difficult. So instead of doing anything, I'm just going to leave. So Sam is a textbook example of someone who's willfully blind. He's been willfully blind for uh, two years. And he's still willfully blind, even though he can see what's happening, because he cannot see a single positive outcome, except for him to preserve himself by leaving. And you might think Sam is an unusual example. 
I think he may be having an experience it's quite likely everyone in this room has had. Not exactly the same, but working in situations where there are things that aren't quite right, and it's not quite our job to do anything about them, and we might be wrong, and we want to be a good, we want to do a good job, which by and large we think means let's not have a fight, let's be jovial, good citizens, let's fit in. Get your tickets for the world's largest music and philosophy festival at howthelightgetsin.org.